I'ma give you my all first, my whole name. I'm in her mouth just like a gay. I'm really feeling super like A. Hey, hey, like a hey, ladies, man, like bait. Hop inside a bender with a red paper. Alright, you, what's happening, man? This stuff got range. Back with another video, man. Back in action. Welcome back, my viewers, man. I want to talk about some shit, right? I want to talk about 2K17 and 2K18 in this video, but uh, I want to get something real, you know, get something out there real quick. Just let me, let me, you know, bear with me for the next two minutes and then I'll get into 2K talk. But look, here's the thing. I wanted to cover over this. I be getting a lot of this hate right on these little fake ass glitches. Okay, I'm gonna admit these glitches are fake. Niggas be falling under the impression that glitches on 2K can be real. Okay, sure there may be that glitch or they may there may be that little exploit that 2K has not patched. That's like the newest after patch and all that shit. But I need niggas to know that y'all need to stop being so skeptical and falling under the impression that you know. Thinking that there's a glitch out there that can save y'all. I put up a little fucking new 99 instant overall glitch full attributes that gets so many views, right? I'm thankful for the views. I'm thankful for those who want to see that shit. But I clickbaited that shit because I want people to know that there's no glitch out there that can make you 99 overall. Okay, sure, there may be that one rare glitch, but it's just like, nigga, it's gonna be rare. You're not gonna be able to get 99 overall just that, like, in a snap. You can't be a demigod like that shit no more on, like, 2K15. You can't do that shit no more. So. And then uh, I put up a fucking shirtless at any rep glitch. Okay, I made the fucking glitch look real as hell, but I clickbait that shit because I want niggas to know that they should not be falling under the impression and so fucking, you know, gullible to the shit that there's gonna be glitches out there that can save y'all. Like, y'all wanna get shirtless at any rep. Y'all wanna be shirtless at rookie one. Damn, y'all wanna see this video? Okay, cool. I'm gonna put that shit up, but just know I'm gonna clickbait that shit. Make it look real as hell, or I might just make it look funny and comedic. Cause I get some of those subscribers, I get some of those viewers that be like, oh damn, Steph got me again, man. Steph got me with the clickbait. This nigga funny as hell, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna subscribe to you. I'm gonna like this video because you was funny. And then there'll be some of these ironic ass niggas that got zero to ten subscribers saying, oh, this nigga trash as hell. Oh, this nigga just doing it for the views. This nigga just clickbait. I really see, that really shows the true colors of the subscribers and the viewers that's coming to the videos. Cause y'all really booty hurt. Y'all nigga, y'all ass hurt. Y'all ass hurt. Y'all as depressed that y'all couldn't get a glitch and y'all was really looking for one. Y'all trying to cheat y'all way through the game and get a fucking glitch, but it ain't happened because you got clickbaited. So the reason why I do clickbait, it's, it's a funny idea to me. It's a funny concept. I can make it into a funny video. I will clickbait because I do, ha I do shit how I want. You feel me? This is my channel. My videos, y'all can hate. Y'all can dislike however many times y'all want. I'm still getting money off the YouTube, you feel me? I'm not getting as much money, but I'm still getting money off the YouTube. Money is money, man. $8, $100, $1,000. It's all money, man. I'll take it. But niggas just booty hurt because they ain't get a real glitch and shit. And then they trying to cheat their way into the game. And then it's ironic because these niggas ain't putting no effort into their channels. There be niggas with no videos up, no profile picture, no fucking channel banner, no channel info, none of that bio shit. And they be over here trying to look for glitches. No, no effort into their videos. Not even no editing. Recording with they fucking iPhone 5 and shit. Over here commenting on my video saying, Oh, nigga, you trash. All right, let me see your channel then. I don't think, I don't, I don't think I'm trash to be honest. But if I look at your channel, that shit kind of, that shit kind of lame to me. So I just wanted to cover that shit, man. But let's get into this 2K talk, man. So, you know, shout out to all the niggas that know how to maintain with my channel no matter what I'm doing. You feel me? You know, the real subscribers. Of course, what is love and, you know, fans without the hate? So I just gotta understand that shit. But, you know, niggas be falling under the gullible, you know, personality that, oh, there's a glitch out there. And, you know, niggas, niggas wild out here. So that's all I gotta say. But uh, let's talk about 2K. I wanted to do a short talk on 2K18 and 2K17. 2K17 was honestly a fail to me. A lot of people may know why. It's because we have the same shit. We literally have the same shit. Okay, they added in all these new animations. They added in alley-oop dunks uh, animations and, you know, packages and all that shit. But the fact that we got the same hairstyle. They ain't put no effort into how you could uh, make your player. But they did add in the face scan, being able to do it on the phone and not having, like, a PlayStation 4 eye camera and all that shit or an Xbox One camera and all that shit you could do it off your phone that's the only upgrade they really did and even though you know like people did utilize the face scan really well because they wanted to do the Taz face the little glitch face green face and all that shit you know me I already did the little face mask glitch I already did the ugly face scans and all that shit so it was cool when they brought that to the game being able to do it from your phone 
but with the fact that there's hairstyles, they didn't change shit, you feel me, dog? So look, Ronnie, uh, it's not just Ronnie, it's the, it's the fucking developers of 2K. Don't want to call them out, don't even want to start that drama and be them typical niggas calling out Ronnie and all that shit. But just the fact that 2K developers didn't put too much effort into uh, 2K17 kind of made me mad. I'm hopefully hoping that, you know, feel me, I hope that what I'm pre-ordering and paying for on 2K18, I'm finna buy that $150 2K. I'm, fi I'm buying the Legend Gold Edition, you feel me? So I'm hoping that there's gonna be acceptable changes to it. And many changes to it that I cannot realize that, oh, this is the same as game that I got last year. I'm hoping 2K18 does not end up being just like 2K17. Because I better see different animations. I better see better passes, you feel me? Uh, if we got break starter fucking platinum, uh, whatever it's fucking called, Hall of Fame. We better be able to get those passes down the court without it going out of bounds. Because niggas can have break starter and they will throw it out of bounds no matter what in the fucking pro -am and park. So I'm hopefully... Hopefully... Wanting to see many changes on 2K18 that was not there on 2K17, you know, things that can make the game better. We we can't be acting stupid. We can't be acting stupid on the court. This game cannot make us look stupid on the court when we have break starter and we're throwing the ball. We're fucking adult human beings in the NBA going to the park and we cannot make a pass. We're throwing passes like we're a fucking five-year-old child, you feel me? So... It's just the game, 2K17, it got real stupid. I mean, I did grind my way up to Superstar 1, but that took a lot of effort and work, and I'm just pretty sure a lot, it took a lot more for the people who got Legend and all that shit, Superstar 5, getting mascots, you know, grinding every day and night, you feel me? So if people are going to be doing that, they better make their game better, man. I better see different hairstyles. Although that Ronnie nigga, he did say, uh, we're not going to add in new hairstyles because it's a fucking, this is not no Barbie doll game. We're not going to dress you up. This nigga, like, this is his game and he's acting like that. That's how he's going to act to his customers, his game. You know, that's how he's going to do that to his game players. It's, it's crazy. It's bullshit how he makes 2K17 exactly like 2K16 with just different animation different uh abilities you could get saying you could get new courts and be you know fan you got michael b jordan on your team all that it ain't no change to it dog it ain't no change to no 2k set like 2k 17 between 2k 16 it's the same ass game when you really look at it like that so hopefully what i'm buying for is worth the 150 dollars i better see all these changes in 2k 18 because again call this a rant man call this a rant but it's just like I don't fucking know, man. I want to see something better in 2K18. Because 2K17, tragically, you know, it's a tragedy. It's a fail. So, hopefully we are going to be seeing better in 2K18. Because I'm buying that 150. I'm trying to get all my VCs worth. So, uh, it's that, man. Subscribe. Drop a like if you enjoy. And, uh, you know, hit that bell for notifications on when I upload. So, I'm out. Hey, hey, hey. Get, get, get. A Dexter.